welcome to my channel. My name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. I'd like to share with you today some questions that have been going around on some sewing vloggers recently on their videos and it's something that I thought I'd like to join in with. It's called, um, it's a hashtag and it's so many questions. It was set up by the Camden Stitch and Specky Seamstress. Please go and check out their YouTube accounts. And then a group of sewists um, that have a group on Facebook um, got together and brought about 40 questions that vloggers, sewing vloggers could choose from and talk about on their channels. Don't worry, I'm not going to answer 40 questions. Everybody's generally chosen 10 questions that they want to answer and I've chosen my 10 and I thought I'd share them with you. Before I start, please could I ask that if you haven't subscribed already to subscribe. Um, if you like my video then obviously like and um, if you'd like to it'd be really nice to hear from you in the comments i really enjoy talking and chatting with other sewing members of the community um about either just general sewing things or things that i've talked about on my videos so that would be really great right i'll get straight to it so question number one i'm going to keep looking down so i'm going to refer to my questions how and when did you start sewing so i started almost 12 months ago um it was June 2018 when I started and I had got to the stage, I don't know whether it was my age, but I had gone shopping several times and just always come home empty handed or what I was coming home with I wasn't very happy with. And actually to some point looking at some of the clothes and thinking, that's really expensive, I'm sure I could make that. And I had been a bit of a fan of the sewing bee, even though I didn't sew for quite some years when, when it was on previously. And I think I just one day decided, do you know what, I'm gonna have a look at some sewing patterns. And I trawled through sewing pattern companies and things and eventually came up with um, a Tilly and the Buttons bateen dress. And it's such a lovely pattern. I put it together didn't really have too much trouble with it. I just bought some fabric from a local haberdashery that I go to and it, it just came out really nicely and I was hooked from that moment on and I've just wanted to sew ever since. However, I did used to do a little bit of sewing when I was a teenager. So I wasn't completely new to sewing. I had used a sewing machine but I hadn't really made clothes. I think I possibly had made one pair of drawstring trousers like almost pajama trousers um, but other than that it was just general bits and pieces that I'd sewn. Um, my mum has always sewn not necessarily um, clothing but homeware so I was able to ask her for help as well but I wasn't completely new to it last year. So that's question number one. Question two, planner or improviser? Oh, I want to say I'm a planner but I'm really impulsive. <laughs> so I, I do plan, but then my plans go out the window. <laughs> so, so yeah, I'm, I, I like to plan things and plans always stay there sort of in the background, but I definitely, definitely go off on tangents when I see fabulous makes that other people have made or I see some material that I really like and I just go, oh, I gotta, I gotta get that. So uh, yeah, a little bit of both, I do plan. But I don't stick to my plan. <laughs> Does that answer that question? <laughs> okay, number three. Do I have any pet helpers? Well, you might have just heard some little tippy tapping going around a moment ago, and that was one of my dogs. I have two dogs. They're whippets, two girl dogs. One, they're nine and eight years old, Lottie and Rosie. They are very, very cute. I'm going to try and see if I can get them to pop up on the settee with me and say hello. So this is one of my dogs, this is Rosie. She's very, very cute. We're a bit mean and we do call her Dozy Rosie <laughs> because she can be a bit silly sometimes. But she is, she's gorgeous. My other dog just does not want to get up so I'll have to put a picture of her in. Um, but yeah, they are, they're lovely, lovely dogs. They keep me company when I'm at home sewing. They're really nice to go out on walks with. They are the dog version of a cat, I would say, because they just like to sit on your lap and be really, really cuddly. But yeah, they're really, really precious to us. They're my first ever dogs that I've ever had. Um, really, strictly speaking, this dog, Rosie, is my husband's dog because she is so completely and utterly in love with him and she follows him around everywhere that he goes when he comes home from work. She takes him gifts. She doesn't do that to me, but my other dogs, Mine. <laughs> so this is my other dog, 
who's been a bit of an old lady today. This is Lottie, and she's nine years old. <laughs> and she was my first dog. Yes, I know, Rosie. You've already been in it. Um, yeah, Rosie, uh, Lottie is... Lottie's just very, very, very cuddly. She just loves to cuddle all the time. And she has two speeds. She has sit still and do absolutely nothing. Oh, she's going to get down. Sit still and do nothing. Or she is so fast, which you wouldn't believe watching her now. <laughs> when we go out for a walk with her, she just spins and spins and spins and spins and spins around in a field. <laughs> anyway, right. That's enough of the dogs. Question number four is, when I'm not sewing, what am I up to? So I work part-time, my husband and I run our own business and I run part of the payroll bureau in, within that business and also keep and maintain all of our own internal books and accounts etc. So I, that's what I do for a job. I have three children and they have lots of activities that they go to so I do lots of running around with them of an evening. Other than that, my other hobby really is keeping fit. I, up until very, very recently, I um, competed in triathlon quite a bit and I really enjoyed that, uh, but I trained very, very hard for it and it took up several hours a week and it just started to get a little bit too much. So I didn't want to completely not do anything, but I dropped back from that a lot and I haven't entered any competitions, certainly in, in the recent few months. Um, so I have continued with my cycling because I really like that and in fact I'm actually taking part in a 100 mile bike ride at the end of June which is called the Nello, it's um, in Exmouth, and, or Exmoor sorry, and I'm really looking forward to that but it does involve a lot of training so I've been doing lots of sort of 50, 60, 70 mile bike rides on the weekend which takes up lots and lots of time, really really enjoyable. I live in a very beautiful part of the country and I get to see lots of gorgeous things um, but it does take a lot of time so I'm kind of looking forward to when that's done so that I can get a bit more time back and maybe go out on some shorter bike rides. Um, I go to boot camp three mornings a week uh, which is run somewhere local to where I live and it's really good fun, it's a really good all over fitness and health um, thing to do. I think that it's very good for you to try and stay fit in whatever form that is. It might just be walking, it might be running, whatever it is. I just really think it does your body and mind quite a lot of good. So yeah, so that's what I get up to. When we're relaxing um, as a family, it normally involves a lot of noise and a lot of music. Our children are very, very musical. In fact, we're all quite musical. And there's lots and lots of piano playing, a lot of singing and a lot of flute playing. And if it's not that, then it's films that have got a lot of music in them. So that's all my interests and hobbies and things that I do when I'm not sewing. Question number five is where do you sew? So this room that I'm recording this in is kind of like a conservatory. It's on the back end of my kitchen and dining room. And I have a little desk which has got my sewing machine and my overlocker. And generally just around there I keep all my sewing bits and bobs. I keep all my material in, uh, underneath a bed in one of the girls' bedrooms that they're not using. So I don't really have a great big space and some of my things are all spread out. When, I, when I'm cutting out, I, I cut out on my dining room table and then have to put all of that away. And then I sew you know, on my, on my little table, which is really nice. I'll try and put a picture in if I can of, of the corner that I have. Um, it'd be really lovely to have a whole room, but I don't have that luxury and I'm really lucky that I've got the space that I have. So that's all good. Number six, woven or knit. This is quite a difficult question actually. I love knit and I love working with knit fabrics because they generally are really, really quick. You don't need to faff around too much with fitting. And if you're feeling a bit, oh, I'm not, I haven't made anything recently or things aren't working all that well, I think putting a knit garment together kind of helps boost that back up again and makes you feel a little bit better about yourself. But I really like working with woven especially when it involves top stitching because I really like to top stitch things and, and what have you. So yeah, maybe more knit than woven, but I do really like woven too. So, oh, don't know. So possibly knit or woven.
no knit. <laughs> Sorry, that's not very good, is it? <laughs> okay, what's the one piece of advice you would give yourself if you could go back to when you first started sewing? This I'm very clear on. I wish I had started documenting the patterns that I owned from the moment I started collecting them. And what I mean by that is, in whatever form, whether that's on an app or whether that's in a notebook, I wish that I had written down what the pattern was, maybe with a drawing or a picture of the pattern, what the material requirements were, the notions were, and any advice that I have on it if, I, if I've actually made it up. And that I could keep that with me when I go off and maybe do some fabric shopping, if I see a piece of fabric that I like and then I think, oh, that would be good as so-and-so, but I, I don't know how many metres of material I need. It would, that would be really, really good. And also, when I'm thinking about what I want to sew, that I just have a altogether book and place where I can go through all of my patterns and flick through them and go, oh yeah, that would be really good, or yeah, that would be really nice. I find that I've got PDF patterns that I have printed and I've put them into folders, but I've also got PDF patterns that I haven't yet printed, so they're just on my computer. I've also got packets of patterns, you know, bought, bought patterns that are already printed, and they're in two or three different boxes. So I haven't got one place where all of that information is compiled and I can just sit and look through it. And now I feel like I've got so many patterns in all sorts of different places, it would take such a long time to go through now and get all of that put into one place. Maybe, maybe one day I will, but while I'm doing that, I'm not sewing and then that makes me sad. <laughs> so that would be my one piece of advice. From the second you start collecting them, document them because it makes life a whole lot easier. Right, next question, we're getting there. Question number eight. Favourite or least favourite, favourite and least favourite sewing task? My favourite sewing task I think is a bit weird. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else will think this is a bit strange. Once I've cut all of my fabric out and I've got it all in a, in a place, you know, ready to start when I'm, when I'm about to start it, I really like to read through the pattern and pin everything together. I sit down, I get nice and comfy, I get my pins out, I go right, those two pieces need to go together, that goes together and that goes together and I like to just sit and pin, get all the notches lined up, all the ends lined up, just pin it all together, roll them up and pop them to one side. I don't know why, I find that quite therapeutic. <laughs> my least favourite, and I think loads of people have said the same, I cannot stand tracing out a pattern. I really, really detest it. So if I can in any way, I will buy a PDF pattern so I can just print it and cut it out. The worst comes to the worst, I have to print it again and cut it out if I've done the wrong size. So that's my favorite and least favorite. Not quite so sewing related, heels or flats. I love wearing heels, really, really love wearing heels. I love the way it makes me feel when I'm wearing them, I feel elegant. I always wear heels to work if I possibly can because I think it's really, really smart. But am I getting a bit of an old lady? I do find flats much more comfortable. And I have fallen in love with sketches and I don't care how old that makes me sound, but they are so comfortable to walk around in. <laughs> I love my sketches. So again, a bit of a 50-50. Last one I've chosen is two truths and one lie. So my two truths. First one is, I am an out and out teaaholic. I cannot stop drinking tea. In fact, I think at some stage, I may even need it as a drip <laughs> because I just will drink a cup of tea and within 10 minutes, I'm putting the kettle on again. And well, if I'm out and I come home, the first thing I do is put the kettle on. When I get up, the first thing I do is put the kettle on. I drink tea way too much. So that's one truth. Second truth. I'm a bit of a neat freak. In fact, I'm a lot of a neat freak in every respect. I like everything to be tidy. Please don't get me wrong, everything is not always tidy. In fact, a lot of the time it, it is very untidy, but it really, really makes me feel very unsettled. So I like things to be neat and orderly and I don't like lots of stuff everywhere. 
like I say, doesn't mean that I don't have lots of stuff everywhere, but I generally can't relax until I've got to it and I've got it all sorted. One lie. I am not in any way obsessed with sewing. <laughs> and I'm going to leave you with that thought. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this. If I'm going to try and pop the questions in the comments below. And if there are any questions down there that you thought, oh, actually, I would have quite liked her to have answered that, pop it in the comments and I'll answer it for you. I really enjoy doing this. I've really enjoyed watching everybody else's. If you're a sewing vlogger and you haven't seen it, then please link yourself in and pop a video on yourself and leave me a comment to say that you have so I can go and watch it as well. I'm going to pop my Instagram account down below as well which is uh, devon.threadtales so if you haven't seen me over there then please do go and have a look and have a follow and other than that I'm going to leave you all to it. Have a really good week and I'll see you all again soon. Take care, bye! Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to do slump something... Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Angela and this is Devon Thread Tales. I nearly forgot my name then. <laughs> my name's Angela and this is... Oh, for goodness sake. Mm -hmm.